What is good, guys? C4 IQ here. This is the castle. Basically, a recorded conversation. Nothing special. Got to try and get as many people as I can. Have a conversation with them. Talk about a topic that I think is like related to to them. See what their insight is. And it's not going to be numbered. So this might be the first. It might be the last. I don't know what order it's going to go go up in. But we have man like Shuridu, aka Slade, aka johnny eddie aka the mod maker <laughs> what is happening dude yeah, what is good what is good guys yeah i mean uh -huh. um, there might be some people especially if they don't play dragon ball they might not know who you are so if you want to give people a little uh introduction yeah so originally i was actually a youtuber originally content creator for naruto storm 4. not many people know even play storm 4 i was quite big in the community i made all the tutorial videos i broke the game i made them damn the game i was i didn't i was alien of the game basically they packed the game because of my my videos okay okay I, yeah I, I knew you played it i didn't know you like the, i, I literally game. broke I, I found all the influence i found so much broken stuff on it and they all they packed everything damn okay. so that's where i originally came from playing fighting games all my life i'll say from like more combat 2. like mm. i'm not that old but i've been playing fighting my whole life more combat 2 three fighter 2 Marvel's Cap continue all the way up to like Dragon Ball Fighters. Mainly, I said I've mainly got introduced to the FGC for MVC3 going WSO in Trocadero back in yeah. like 20, 2010. That's how long ago. <laughs> That's mad. And Street Fighter 4 as well. That's mad. Yeah, I remember Troc. But yeah. back then, I yeah. was break dancing. So I was the guy downstairs, <laughs> you know, between. You know how you yeah. get into the truck from the station? Yeah, you had to go up the, you had to go yeah. up the little stairs to get to yeah. the yeah. gaming yeah. arena. Yeah. So I, I saw all those people. I remember seeing, like, right before I knew who Reinhardt was, I remember seeing all them lot, uh, Affy and them lot walking up to, uh, yeah. to the truck thinking, look at those nerds playing games, bruv. I'm out here rolling on the floor. Uh, and then look what happens. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you are now. We are. <laughs> yeah, truck truck days though. That does go back a lot of people. That especially was, that was hype, man. Yeah, there yeah. was a. Uh, that was when it was Arms House, right? Yeah, Arms House was streaming. When um, streaming wasn't like that was like Justin TV days, isn't it? Yeah, that was it, mate. I'm, I think I'm on two of the streams. I got washed, and that was my first time going. I got washed. It was like a team battle for Marvel Three. That was oh, my okay. first tournament experience. And after I came back, and I, I think I got, I only got top eight. I played such a cheap team. I played um Hager, Deadpool, Morrigan. Hagar, Deadpool, Morgan. What I did was pipe and Deadpool assist just unblock. <laughs> Damn, no pause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giving everyone pipe. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, like I said, if you're not from the UK, you might not know, get the reference of where it was. But yeah, that was kind of uh, that and Casino. I feel a lot of origin stories uh, started from. And they're pretty close to each other. They were like a 25 minute walk from truck to Casino. Yeah. It wasn't that yeah, it far. Was, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of when the whole streaming thing kicked off for us. Uh, so yeah, you're not you're not new to this, uh, and you were talking about your Naruto escapades. Uh, now people know you for modding Dragon Ball. So let's get into it. This is yeah. why I want you to come on here. There's not many people that have modded a game to this extent, right? You get a lot of people that mod aesthetically, but you pretty much made an entirely new game with the framework of Dragon Ball. So I think the yes. first thing. Uh, I want to know. Don't know if anyone else cares, but I want to know this. Why did you bother? <laughs> Why did I bother? I just wasn't enjoying the basic. I felt like a lot of people like nerfs. I hate nerfs in games. I'd rather have every character at high power level. Right. For the character makes the game more boring. When his balance is so boring, look, there's so many fighting games out there. Mm. I think mean, this, like Marvel 3 for me, it might be the most broken game, but it was mm -hmm. the most hyped game to watch. To this day, people are still finding things for that game. You've got so many other games that are solved. They got balanced to one or they die after like what one year. Look at Mortal Kombat. The game gets nerfed, yeah. nerfed. But after one year, it dies. Like, so I thought, let me do the same for Dragon Ball. The game, they said this is the last patch. And I thought, let me respond there for, for the whole community. Why not? I mean, I respect it. Uh, I'm definitely of the ethos. If you don't like something, at least try and do something about it. So there could be a yeah. lot of people that don't like the balance of the game. You're one of very few that would be like, you know what? I'll just change the game then. Yeah, like, rather, just, me, rather me making a tennis like everyone else, I feel like I'll, I'll just do it myself. I'll do the Thanos. Yeah, make your own reality, <laughs> bro. That that makes sense. I mean, again, it's a lot of hard work. I'm sure you've got some people in the back. Uh, obviously, give them a shout out for people that know. I know um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Houdini was one of them. Yeah, he helped me out with some characters in Dark as well. Helped me out with initial, like, just writing up, like, the data for some characters as well. I also had some, like, play testers also. I had Seihan and okay. uh, Ali Reza. Some other people just helping out. Just to test the, the mod to see if anything's too broken or whatnot. And if there's any right. bugs or anything, I couldn't find every bug myself. It's kind of hard to just test every like every combo situation or every situation. 
Right. Okay. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of the nerdy stuff. How did you get into modding uh, such a... I want to say it's a complex game. Uh, even though there's some kind of... There's part of Dragon Ball where they've kind of like scaled back into diversity of characters like health wise and like mobility. Yeah. Everyone's pretty much got the same framework of mobility and then they add on top of that, right? In other games, you have characters that are slower or don't have an option. Dragon Ball is like everyone's got an IAD, no matter how big you are, but some characters yeah. can have a second one, right? Uh, how was it kind of going into that game and having like a plan of what you wanted to change or keep? I think at first, all I'm looking at is what, how can I make the rest of the cast feel as strong as Labco? Rather than making Labco in the top four weak as the rest of the cast feel, what can I do to bring them up a level to mm -hmm. that level? So I look at the previous patch. I think the more I like, I start doing, I'm thinking, oh, what can I do to actually make every character feel fun? Not just broken, but fun in the same way. So every character, anyone can go in the game and say, you know what, I want to play Super Saiyan Vegeta with Nappa and, you know, I don't know, Kid Buu. And the team will just work. That's what I wanted that essence to be for the the mod like you pick any character you want you any character you love from the series itself and just make it work rather okay. than you having to be like oh i like this one character i've got to find two assists now that work with just just one character which i struggled with for the whole game trying to find two characters to help sell i'm still struggling now. <laughs> i get that i get that um, yeah i mean this is gonna be a rough question I'll, I'll be direct with it so you're gonna you when you started doing the bots, because I remember you like reached out to me and stuff, and I was thinking, damn, it's a rough time because the war tour still on, right? Yeah. So you kind of have to draw. I mean, not again. There's only going to be a certain amount of players that are up to that caliber to for it to matter, right? Uh, there's what eight people that qualified, and then you've got like the really strong people that went to the LCQ. So let's say a big overestimate. I'll say like 15 players are like, you know what? I have to play the main game because there's yeah. something at the end there's a goal at the end right and then everyone else are kind of playing it for fun and then you've they, you've got your mod what do you think is the biggest draw that you can pitch uh to someone who likes playing dragon ball likes going to tournaments but you're gonna like come and have fun this is my mod what would you say to them to kind of entice them to try your mod because i feel in this day and age because of stuff like uh world tours and locals and online tournaments it's hard to pull people out from the competitive aspect to just have fun yeah so uh yeah have you got like a sales pitch or do you just go my monster's uh, better man just play this basically yeah, i just say you, you don't have fun in the main game come play the mod i'll, I'll do my own tournaments if i have to which i did yeah. one of them already i plan to do more i'm going all i'm waiting for now is rollback that's that was my whole main idea for making a mod fit when rollback comes a lot of people don't like the balance of the main game so i can balance it as much as people need to I, I can balance it every six months if needed to be if there's a bug i can fix instantly like whereas axis is not really doing that right now there's like free there was a bug in the world tour with the what lab coat just doing t posed upside down <laughs> like that, that's embarrassing for a comp for a high stakes company that's embarrassing mm. <laughs> if that was me i said i would have packed on the same day for the next match not to have it if that was me personally yeah there's there's definitely pros and cons right like you said you are like in all intents and purposes, a one-man army. You, I know you've got the people in the background like you shout out, but you are very like, you'd be like a hands-on dev where the other devs are yeah. like, this is our world tour. We're obviously chucking, you know, money at the players to keep playing. Uh, I think in terms of values, what is the value of playing your game then? Like, I know uh, I've seen you kind of try to get feedback from players. Uh, yeah. And you've got to kind of like toss up what's people just being haters or what's people being unreasonable what was your idea of the game i know you spoke about trying to bring the characters up but did you have like a vision did you want it to be competitive did you want it to be fun somewhere in the middle uh more of like a game so you can express yourself what, what kind of idea did you have uh, in terms of that for me personally it was mainly marvel 3 like for right. me it's so surprising that marvel 3 released what 2012 and mm. the game is still being discovered till today i wanted to make a game where people can always find stuff for the game not like basic people find these combos here and they're new but they're, they're for the same like structures nothing really new about it whereas you know, i want to make a mod where you turn on the game you pick 17 and everyone will play them differently not everyone will play them the same not everyone will do five and two and five eight everyone will do something completely different with the character 
you play a character and you just have fun, but you can also play competitively and sh express yourself at the same time. So I thought, I think I'm trying to tackle all three things at once and basically trying to be like Marvel 3 without being Marvel 3 at the same time. Right. So I would say if you're trying to be Marvel 3, your balancing wouldn't be much of a, a priority, right? Because Marvel 3 yeah. was patched once. Yeah pretty badly like yeah in terms, <laughs> just of, don't <laughs> in terms of what they did know if they know if sentinel and then people realized no it wasn't sentinel it was actually x factor with sentinel that was bad so <laughs> uh, and then you know like you said earlier right the game's fun regardless of the balancing right so yeah would you say that's kind of like a last fault in terms of your mod like obviously you said about the competitive part but i think when you have com a p competitive mindset in making a game you have to go well the balancing has to be uh good but then you might lack in some of the fun aspects right exactly yeah uh, so if you you said you kind of tried to get all three which one do you feel like you might have slacked on a little bit or which one would you be comfortable like going you know what i can't make a fun game but be it can't be balanced at the same time uh, which one is kind of like the least important to you maybe the balance i'll say maybe yeah because i think at first when i first made it i thought i'm i'm gonna try balance i don't i'm gonna try fix what's from the original game and nerf like lab coat and all these other characters and bring other characters up but at the same time i thought i want to also make all these everyone fun at the same i don't want to just nerf a character and this that character is no longer playable because at the end of the day she is the mascot of the game like she is the final boss of fighters so i thought mm -hmm. she still has to be strong i can't just nerf her just because she's strong in the main game i, I have to like take inspiration from the main game and make something new from it that's all that's all i'd say i think but yeah. i think now I'm, I'm leaning more towards the fun side i'm like you know what people can still play the main game and there's a new patch coming so if anyone doesn't like the main game and whatever patch they do they can always hop on the mod and have more fun i think they definitely yeah. would have more fun no yeah. doubt <laughs> yeah i mean uh i was there uh shouts to uh shuridan when he was playing it i know yeah. tyrant's been playing it and obviously tyrant and you did the tournament on his stream uh, and it looked like uh, luckily enough we've got so many like really sick plays in the eu i think they did a really yeah. good job of like demonstrating the difference between this game and uh the base game right because like you said it, you can just do the abc stuff but they didn't yeah. they really tried to show the difference between the mod and the uh base version so i think stuff like that is like a good for you obviously because your motivation must be that you just want people to play right because you're not getting money yeah. from people playing the game yeah it's all for free yeah yeah i could be trying people but it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me right the money doesn't matter just so it, having fun and seeing people play it is is that your motivation right you've got that kind of uh good vibe stuff going on where you're like you know as long as people yeah. smile and play in my game that's exactly. good yeah, enough that's, for me it's, it's like an ego boost almost like right. seeing people play it or like turning on the stream and seeing someone playing the mod, i'm like oh that's i'll just step in and talk to them and talk whatnot it's, it's quite a nice feeling I respect that. I think, uh, although it's it's kind of like a selfless action, right? I mean, the origin of you doing it is because of your feelings toward the base game. And then you're like, yeah. here's a solution. And then people appreciate your solution. And that kind of, that's your reward for making the mod, right? Uh, yeah. Saying that, is there any advice or any critiques that you got that you kind of just went, you don't know what you're talking about? I'm just, and you just laugh them off. Is there anyone? You don't have to give the name. Yeah. Obviously, I prefer you to do. No. But if you don't want to give the name, <laughs> do you, could you think of any criticisms that you got? And you're like, look, there's a reason that uh, I modded the game and not you. You're not, you're not that smart. A lot, a lot. I can't even mention. There's too many people. To, I can tell you who didn't do that. That's, that's what I can tell you. Is that all right? Then who, who gave you good criticism then? And then everyone else can uh, go. So, oh, he didn't say me. So that clearly means I don't know what I'm talking about. Go for it. I say Sehan for sure gave really good criticism. Sehan. Okay. Because yeah. he, he still looked at the, the fun aspect of the game and said, okay, this will be fun. It'll be broken, but it'll make this character fun. Where a lot of people would want to break their characters only and nerf characters that they don't like. And I'm like, I'm trying to make the game for everyone, not just for you or just for that person. Tom could say, like, you know, make, um, like, Goku Blue um, do this much damage, but make 2% Goku do less damage. I'm like, why? That makes no sense. Why not make them both do something? It's like, mm. why, not, why not both of them be good? I got a lot of like questions. Oh, can you change this to be stronger? I'm like, but if this is that strong, then that this makes that character way above all the other characters, and everyone just picked that and is basically we're playing the base game again with just a different character replacing Labco. Yeah, that that makes sense. Okay, uh, yeah, you definitely. If you've got someone like Sehan, 
like quality or like testing your game's uh, balance, that's really good. Because he's, when it comes to defense, he will tell you if something's unreasonable or not, right? Yeah. Like he tried the, the tip of I just released yesterday. He tried it before I released it. Mm. And he said, this character is mad fun, but no one is blocking him the moment he gets close because he's going to instant transmission and you're going to scream because it's a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> the transmission is mad quick. Yeah. I, didn't see it. I was like, bro, like it it's, it looks way faster than Janimbers. Yeah, it's it's yeah. I need to actually change it up. That's one thing. So I'm gonna balance after a week or two people playing the Mac. I know people get that, you know, mm. oh new character release after they go back to main game. So I'll wait one to two weeks when I'll do another patch for it. I'll actually try to I'll keep them strong but balance out the things that are un unreasonable. I'll probably nerf the recovery a bit, but it'll still be good, but it's not like jump scare level <laughs> right 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 um, talking about how you was uh you know when you see someone playing the mod you jump to the stream and you like talk to them which is like really cool because obviously you don't get that sort of interaction unless you're like a big player or streamer or a personality you won't get the devs of the game jump into your stream and talk to you about it so it's cool that you've been doing that uh, would you say do, do you think there's any hmm i know word this is there any way that you think your mod could be like more of an end game than the base game. So say for example, uh, the base game, uh, say the devs go, oh, we're making a number two. Do you think your game will just be a stop gap until number two comes out? Or is your plan to be like, no, this is it's like standalone game. We should be playing this. Sort of like how MVC, the, the other ultimate version of uh, Marvel, like people yeah. are playing that and they've added like crazy characters like they've got azura they've got venom and all that do you want your game to be like i know this is derived from uh dragon ball fighters but this is its own entity and it will always be like that or do you yeah. want it to be like a stopgap until the next thing comes out i think it depends what the next thing is if the next thing isn't as good then i want it to just overtake it that's why i think so i want right. it to be his own so i think mainly his own thinks if or maybe a stop thing until the next thing. If they made Dragon Ball Fighters 2 and they announced it, I would want people to play this one until that one comes out because clearly they'll put new things in that game or whatnot. But I can't put in a new assets and everything. So I think people obviously jump onto that one. If the game becomes a failure, now I will hope people will just drop back and play the modded version instead, which I will host tournaments for, gladly funded from my own pocket and whatnot. Now, if, if, it's pos if possible as well, I'll try to do my own world tour with rollback if there is one. Damn. I don't know if it's going to come rollback or not, but... <laughs> yeah i mean I, i'm definitely going to talk to some other people that I had in mind to, to jump into the castle and talk to them about uh world tours do a lot of damage to to the community i feel yeah uh, or there's pros Indeed. and cons there's pros and cons i just think there's a few more cons but obviously from your perspective doing a world tour will hype up your game uh yeah. and now that you said that i think maybe it's not just world tours that do harm i think it's like dev world tours I um, think so because yeah. they don't do much for the game during the world tour. We don't get much information of it. It's like, oh, this, this go to this tournament, go to that tournament, and whatnot. And people just have to suffer for all of it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, on top of that. I think for me, the big part is that I, I saw this definitely with Street Fighter. Uh, when you have a tournament that doesn't have a world tour qualification or points, people are like, well, where am I going? And exactly. You, yeah. you hurt locals like that, or you hurt a community because they're like, oh, this tournament's really hype, but it's not got world tour points and it's like why am i going do you know what i mean and obviously you only see the other end of that when they're having like world tour for dragon ball people fenrich went to australia yeah you never see him go there why, why would he go otherwise <laughs> yeah why would he go otherwise right <laughs> so uh in that sense it's like that's cool because you're getting people to travel but what happens with the tournaments that don't have that then no one's like and it's not like people are lazy or they can't be bothered i shouldn't have really said that it's that it's it might not be feasible money wise yeah so you People have to money prioritize the world tour events right uh, but I'm, I'm guessing on your end a lot of the qualifications is going to be online as long as it's got rollback right yeah if, if rollback is good then it'll be online and maybe at the end of it it could be an offline if mm. i accumulate, accumulate a lot of money from it but let's see from it so it'll be pretty hype that'll be pretty hype how would you i, I guess I mean, personally, I wouldn't want you to draw too much money out of your own pocket. Do you think there's any way to keep like the grassroots of the mod, but have some sort of monetization behind it? Like a, I don't know, like a GoFundMe 
for like a character because i know you know skullgirls have done that uh yeah something like oh i mean if you've played the mod can you put like a quid into this like gofundme for like for geo uh the new cats you drop something like that has that been something that's crossed your mind or are you still kind of like finding your foot in in terms of making the mod like uh, good in your eyes, right? By getting people to test it and whatnot. Uh, I'll say no. It doesn't cross my. Sometimes it crosses my mind here and there, but I think like when I see people playing it, I just don't think about it at all. I think it just makes me makes me happy. <laughs> if anything. Yeah. No. I yeah. get it. I, I get. It. I think. It but is... I, I do think in future, the more I do it, I think we will come to a point where I'll be like, okay, I need to get something out of this and mm. try push. So if I'm doing more tournaments, I'd hope like other than this match arena. You know, I start maybe charging for like certain tournaments, but it'll be like a something out of it at the end of it. So maybe it's, I'll say, oh, if you win the tournament, you know, you get to test the next character before anyone else gets to test or stuff for like some exclusives rather than just money at the end of it. Right. Yeah. I think that's a good change, uh, a good uh, like conversion, right? If you say, oh, it's one quid to play in this tournament and the winner gets like the DLC like a week earlier or something like that, right? Yeah. Where, yeah. Exactly. yeah. And I think, I, I think something like a quid when it's grassroots is definitely important. I know that might turn some people off thinking, oh, I have to like pay to play this version of the game that's not official. Well, I mean, what does it matter? Like GT wasn't official and people love that stuff. I love that yeah, stuff, baby's guess. They paid five quid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, exactly. They didn't even pay for the base game. So I think something like uh, a couple of quid for like uh, your DLC or it to enter one of your like big tournaments, if there's like a, like you said, a prize that's not monetized would be cool. Yeah. Uh, is there any like other games or modders that like inspired you to like take on uh, doing the mod for Dragon Ball? Or did you just do it all, all of your own back? No, I actually watched the um, RC Burritos uh, Ultra Dragon Ball mod. He did like a whole new move set for like Gohan, Goku Black, and Super Saiyan Goku. I think, oh, I did not know this was possible. So I, I started messaging him loads saying, oh, what's possible, what's not possible, just so I can like get ideas for what the game could be like. And I thought, okay, let me write some notes and whatnot. Ask him again back and forth. This is like all the way back in like February. I was asking for like two months straight, just asking him questions. And I thought, okay, I'll make a list of everything I want to do. And then literally spent like a two, two months just writing a list of every change, asking different people, oh, what do you think of these changes for your character? Like a character specialist. Ask them what do you think of these right. changes for the characters. And tried to make sure I didn't talk about other characters because I know a lot of people would be like, oh, you should know if this character though. I'd be like, what What do you want for your characters? Just so I can get ideas from it. Yeah, I remember like you messaged me. I was tentative to say what I would want because I'm not competing. Like I thought yeah. what I would like is going to be totally different to what like Easy Man likes. Because yeah. Easy Man's playing those like uh, really strong players where what I would like would be something cool, which might not be practical. <laughs> <laughs> but I, think that's, I think that's better, right? Because in a sense of Easy Man, like not, nothing bad about Easy Man. He, he plays a character, I want to say he's a specialist, or he plays him to a basic level, but he plays yeah. it with the fundamentals of a high, of a higher player. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what he would want would be on a competitive side more than a cool, fun side of a new patch. Like for him, it would probably be like, oh, change his frame date of Vegeta, and that would probably be, oh, make him, you know, be able to combo this into that, and that's mm -hmm. it where... If I ask you, I know you'll be like, oh, maybe this should Gatling into that or that should combo into like complete co like new ideas and for the character feels fresh when you yeah. play him. Yeah, I, I definitely was like, when you showed me the stuff, you like you asked me and I was just like, just make him good. <laughs> you showed me <laughs> changes. I was like, oh no, that's cool. Like, because I, in all the team, in all the games that I play, the priority is I pick the character that I like aesthetically or I've got like an, uh, a faction with and Vegeta is that guy. SSJ Vegeta because I don't have Marge Vegeta yet. But I <laughs> I always play that character that I like. And then the other characters, I'm okay with them being not characters that I like, but they function to make him stronger. I've always had that mindset, right? When yeah. I used to play uh, Iron Fist in Marvel, I was like, I can't stop people jumping. I have to learn Strider. And I just picked that bad guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I was okay with that. Cause it's like, well, I'm playing Iron Fist, I'm cool. Yeah, um, that, I know exactly what you mean. That's me yourself. <laughs> You play the character you like and you go, I'll play yeah. two functions to make them work. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. So when I look at Vegeta, I want him just to have sauce. I, that's all yeah. I want. I, I just want him to have a little bit of sauce, just a, a speck, just a little bit of like seasoning. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so when I, when I was thinking about, oh, what would I change? I never thought about other than damage. I don't think anything I would have wanted him to have would be practical. Like, I don't think 
oh, give him an easy way to do 50-50s. Like, I was like, if I want the 50-50s, yeah. I'll just pick Kid Boo. Like, yeah, I don't exactly. need the character yeah. changed. I need to change my team. But you were saying that earlier, you don't want that as a restriction. Uh, so was there any changes that people brought to your attention that you didn't think of? Uh, I'm trying to think now. Um, I mean, you must have got I'm a million, for... so I'll give you like two, yeah. two or three minutes to think about it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird because a lot of the people asked, I showed them the notes I had before asking for their opinions. So mm. it's like, they added on top of the notes I already wrote on. So some stuff would be like, oh, if you increase this frame, maybe this combo will link. And I'd be like, oh, okay, enough, I'll try out. I'd be like, oh yeah, that does link kind of thing. So it will be a lot of like, a lot of people ask for frame data changes to see if some combos would work. Right. But not many people ask for like, oh, can this move Gatling into that move or something like that? Like, so I'll say a lot of it, like, I'll take credit for a lot of it. It was just from my, from myself. <laughs> Damn. What, like 95%? Yeah, yeah I was literally said 95%. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. take that, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, have you got any other games in mind that you wanted to mod or do you, do you think the next level, now you've done this, is like making your own game or something like that? Uh... I wanted the mod before the like the fact the game I originally wanted the mod was Marvel Free. I didn't know it was possible or whatnot. But after the people I did it did a great job. I'm like, can you know what? Someone's already done it. It will literally yeah. do what I do. So there's no point in me stepping in because someone's already doing it. Yeah. I thought, okay, let me I'll do it for Dragon Ball next. And another game after that Dragon Ball. I don't know. There has to be something that really has to interest me in, in this generation's games. Not, not many of these fighting games interest me as much in terms of like source. The quiet standard, the more fundamentals for see. I'm not saying that's bad or anything, but in terms of like watching from an audience point of view, mm. see a combo, you think, oh, that's hype. But many games now are more about, you know, pokes, which is, I like pokes and stuff, but it's you can't really mod something around that you know, in these new generation games. I, I get that. I get that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any, I can't think of a game that has been modded that's like a 1v1. There must be, and I just don't know. But yeah, I can't think of. Only game I could think of is Street Fighter Four. But was that modded? Which oh, it wasn't really modded. Like, you know, you know, it was the Mega version they made for. Like, that's like the closest thing I could think of the Mega version of that game. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that was like in-house modding, I guess, because the devs. Yeah. Yeah, it went. Oh, this is like the crazy version of our game. I guess. Yeah. Which yeah. Was, I don't know. It was pre- when it came out, it was pretty damn hype. Like Ken doing Tatsu Tatsu show you. Show. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> it was pretty crazy. That Street Fighter Four. It wasn't Omega like mode. it wasn't like super broken where you know you press one button you just one shot. It was like Gen broken in that final way. Gen oh, Gen had, had the five. Yeah, it wasn't the five OP. Um, yeah. Five kick, like it, like it. Like. <laughs> yeah, Gen, Gen exactly had yeah. what you described. But other than Gen, other than Gen, <laughs> other than Gen, they, they patched the Gen one. I think they patched. They don't have any more. Gen one. I don't remember. They patched it. They patched oh. it. So when they, um, I think they patched it for the final version of the game. Damn. They patched it. Yeah. Cowards. Yeah, I, I remember that. I did it to my friends. I went to my friend's house. None of them knew about it. I was definitely a uh, bastard for doing that. I said, I'm playing Gen. Like you don't play Gen. I'm like, trust me. I'm a game Gen man from day one. <laughs> I'm again, you know I'm again made now. <laughs> now I learned this infinite. Best believe I'm playing this character. Um, <laughs> I let them hit me up. It was so, it was so evil. I let them hit me up a bit. I'm thinking, oh, trying to, I'm trying to like show that I'm whack again. Hit him with one five LP. That was an ah, uh, well played. Take my hand. <laughs> Ridiculous oversight. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Do you think you've got more? Well, actually, no. Before that question, is there any like legal issues like with what you've done with the mod? Do you, did you feel uh, like Bandai were going to come after you like? It's in the SWAT team at to first, your house or something, something like that. At first, yeah, when I, when I named the Dragon Ball Fighters 2, people told me, be careful with that name. I'm thinking, why? I'm like, oh, yeah. And I could literally make that game and I just literally taken the IP of that name and could get right. stuff. Okay, maybe I should change the name to Ultimate Dragon Ball. I, I don't think they'll call the game Ultimate. They already made the Ultimate Edition, which was just season, mm. um, season one. Mm. I thought if I just called it Ultimate Dragon Ball, not Edition, Ultimate Dragon Ball mods, then. I can't really get anything back to me, but at the same time, I thought maybe they might look at my mod and be like, oh, we don't like what you're doing. You get too much attention or whatnot. But so far, nothing. Nothing at the moment. Mm. I, think, I think I'm in the clear because now they're making a new patch and hopefully the new patch they're making has inspiration from the mod. I hope, but I don't think they don't even know about the mod. <laughs> you know what would be funny is if you if your whole agenda of going to World Tour Finals is to like bump into a rookie and go, oh, you don't know me, but I made your game better. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I, I, I was so tempted to do that, but at the same time, I thought if I showed him, the, I remember, imagine I showed him the mod, they'd be like, Oh, you made that? And then take it down. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, it's a sticky one. I feel, 
I feel what's it? Uh, is it? Because that's like me, Shoei, like the ego, like Shoei, name. Shoei, 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 that's the. Oh, yeah, Shoei, Shoei, yeah. That's they hold the IP. Uh, the Dragon Ball. Yeah, I think it's them. Like Bandai and them, like just they they're the devs of the game. But when it comes to like the IP and stuff, I think that's when they might start like giving you the side eye. Like you can't do that. Like yeah, but. I don't know how legally it works. I'm like, like you said, you're not, you've not made money off of it. Yeah. You know, I think if I made money, if I start selling it, then I think yeah. then they'll be looking at me and I think, oh, you're making money from our game, which yeah. people already paid for, but you get an extra. And it's like, okay, what's going on? Yeah, that, that could, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, I know they've done mods and other games and all that sort of stuff. And I've never heard of someone being like clapped, uh, like yeah. a season assist or anything like that. Uh, especially the time you've made the mod, like you've made it, almost at the end of the game's lifespan right uh and, and you and like you've been saying you weren't well none of us were aware about the patch after the world tour uh that's yeah. obviously inspired because of evo having it there right uh you didn't have that prior knowledge like you said they basically said oh we're not patching the game anymore this is it uh then they did like yeah, the emergency was, yeah. patch they did the emergency patch with uh, lab coat and they were like yep this is the game evo yeah. went it back and they were like actually no we're gonna we're gonna change the stuff uh yeah so i i don't did you feel like that kind of took the wind out yourselves for your mod or were you were you happy that the base game like you said might be getting better towards your version of the game uh i'd say i was 50 50 i'll say i say i was quite happy for them to have a new patch at the same time I'm thinking every patch they've done has made the game worse as they take away they're taking more of the fun away mm. making it more like competitive like people say a lot of people will say now oh these characters don't need buffs because they're solid in the game in my head i'm thinking they don't need buffs necessarily for competitive scene but i'm not gonna pick ssj goku and have fun i'm gonna be so bored doing the same 2m mm -hmm. 5m jl i'm not gonna find anything new i'm just playing i'm just playing brain dead at that point i just i'm just playing fundamentals i could do it in any other any other fighting game this is dragon Ball. this is game supposed to be about characters flying breaking planets, you know, like destroying, you got, you got gods here, you got earthlings fighting gods, like what's, like, why, why am I doing the same comp with Goku as I'm doing with Krillin as Beerus, like what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I definitely get that. I'm not sure, oh, this, I, I guess this question is like obvious, I feel. I'll, I'll just make sure though. The, what you're describing <clears throat> to us is like real sleep, like it's pretty boring, right? But what yeah. about the accessibility for new players? Like, do you think, your game is good for newer players to fighting games not just the dragon ball like new fighting game players because what you've done is make made characters more interesting but that obviously you need like, like a prerequisite of knowledge to make that happen right they don't have the fundamental stuff of like abc launch abc knockdown yeah. you've kind of disregarded that from the game do you do you care about the casual players or is this mod specifically for Dragon Ball players that want a different experience from the base game? Uh, never actually thought about it. I'd say maybe maybe for casual players, people that just jumped in the game, I think they would... If they played both, I think they would enjoy the mod more because they'd be thinking, oh, why, does Trun why can Trunks cancel change the future into like a slash when the base game is just change the future or empty dash? Mm. Like there's more to... For a casual player, I think there's more to explore for a casual player and more things to see compared to the base game. They might find the base game fun, not just regarding that from them. I think if they play the mod, they'll find even more fun for a casual scene. Like let's say you get Dota Doya, um, Syriax and Rhyme playing the mod. They'll have way more fun doing boss battles with the modded characters than with the characters from the base game already. Have you got uh, a different trial mode in the mod? Oh uh, no, I actually have no idea how to do that. Because <laughs> I was thinking like, what you're saying is, so I, I have like, it's not my philosophy, but I've got an idea of like newer players. Oh, no, actually, no, I won't even use players. Most people don't actually like having too many options. Yeah. They want fewer options because people will get like stressed out and be like, oh my God, you know, that the Jackie Chan meme, like when they have too many <laughs> options. And that's what detracts people from it. Like as someone who's played Exard, Rev, there were so many options in there. It's a good game. The, one of the only conclusions you can come to is like people don't like that many options they they yeah. like having like vanilla chocolate banana strawberry they're the milkshake yeah, I, 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 like, I like vanilla <laughs> i like vanilla too and it's 
But I'm sure if there was th- 5,000 different flavors, which technically there yeah. is, I would probably have something. Uh, there would probably be a flavor that's nicer than vanilla, but I'd be stressed out having to pick out of all of those options. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. And when I think of casual players, a lot of them are more like pick up and play. So maybe adding like a tutorial or a trial mode to be like, oh, this is what you, this is what you could do. And you use that as like the base game combos and then what you can do in the modded version. I think that would help if if that's your target market. It might not be. You might think, yeah, no one's playing this game. The, the base game's been out for so long. There's not going to be someone who's going to go, oh, Dragon Ball game that's been modded because they're going to know <laughs> prior, right? They're going to have prior yeah. knowledge of the base game. Uh, but maybe for like Street Fighter players or like any 1v1 like gamer uh, that was kind of like oh these these like tag games are so cool they're hype they're crazy but i don't know what's going on i know so many players like that jammers used to be like that yeah. jammers used to hate like tag games it's like it's too much nonsense going on uh and then we just yeah. force fed like that yeah. yeah now we just force fed him <laughs> we slowly did it we started with anime games and looking like look you can air dash in this game that's crazy right imagine you had two catches get it that's real so uh yeah. and then he had the skull girls <laughs> phase and then he loves the tag games so yeah maybe there's like a mode you could put in there uh to like i said drag those players in if that's your sort of uh target market uh, i feel like if you're making a mod your target market is already uh, existing players yeah uh, i think when i first made it it was definitely for existing players but mm-hmm. the more i like catch the game and the more further it goes out i think kind of reach out to other players other than just players that play the game since season one or two or you know people have complained about the game and whatnot mm. i think i'm trying to reach out to other players outside of it, so i'm starting making like overview videos of every character what they can do what's new like that way people can understand oh this character can now do this or or oh, that that move looks cool let me let me play this pick up this character in this mod because they know that it's not possible in the base game think oh the base game does not have this that's surprising mm-hmm. uh, i think that the more videos i upload the more people will be able to see like what's different and what what not so that why pick the mod over the base game I think something also interesting. I saw, uh, I know people like, well, like you said already, like Tyron and them lot are streaming themselves, team mode in the game. Uh, I know 40 has been doing that a lot. Yeah. 40's always yeah, he's, streaming. He's messaging me. Yeah, he's, he's messaging me. He wants more tournaments. I have to do an NA tournament next for it. So I've done right. an EU one, now I'm the NA one. I was waiting for the NA one because rollbacks. I figured, oh, def- rollback will definitely release during World Tour. Well, did it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do an NA one probably right. soon. Okay, cool. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I was thinking. I feel a lot of. I, I don't know. If, I wouldn't say forty falls under this category. Uh, forty is like a player in my head. He's he's an actual player, but you get a lot yeah. of like content creators that like play games on the side, and that could be a source of like uh, content to play a modded game, right? Uh, yeah, you know how you you get those like casual players like we were talking about again like if that's your target market be like oh i've made the mod of this game it's a fighting game uh there's a couple of people playing it it's really cool do you mind like trying to play on your stream or something and that way you know it's kind of like a parasitic relationship where you're getting promote not promoted you're getting publicized to another group of players and that person's got content to go through because like the roster's massive there's not a lot of knowledge about what's capable so yeah you've got like bnbs and optimal combos but because it's not not everyone's got it or not everyone's playing it it's still very like undiscovered tech and things to yeah. find out in the game which would be cool uh do you think you would like ever reach out to basically like non-fighting game players and be like oh do you mind like you know streaming this mod or anything like that yeah i think so i think i like to like go up to afro Central, like people that like anime or dragon ball in general mm. i'd like to shout out to them to, for them to try and be like oh you know this this new character in this mod that's not in the base game you know you might like this this character can now do this or this character has a new move you know try this out and they sit that have their reaction on it as well i think only people that i know that played it from content creation side mm. is being cloud globku and lotus but i'd like to go out even further than that so maybe like rhyme style syriax uh doya life hero like look more mm. like people are maybe in the fighting game community but after like i get the main content creators of the fighting game community it kind of expands further out from there to the anime community even to just the gaming community in general yeah that would be sick uh um, that seems kind of like the best avenue to go down for me i have no idea like i've 
not got the patience to sit there and mod characters I don't care about. <laughs> if I made a mod, it would literally just be a Vegeta mod. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and maybe 17. Like, uh, I, I don't care enough about the cast i normally care about my character uh more than anything that, that because that's the reason well. i play like, yeah that's... that was me as well i could have really broken cell i thought let me hold back a bit let me just let me do everyone first then i'll focus on Cell after like a season two cell would it'll be in his prime will be cell saga vegeta yeah. cell goku that's what everyone needs to know and team gohan yeah team gohan uh pfft. Rest in peace, Rocket man. That was a yeah. That was a crazy time. The highs and lows <laughs> of Team Gohan, man. That was wild. I remember, I remember he, he dropped him and started playing Nappa. Was yeah. it end of season? Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> man, I've I've never seen a come down like that, bro. That guy fell off like for about a week. He was yeah. just yelling into the ether. Bless him. Uh, yeah, it's the email. Yeah, no, I can't yeah. believe that email. I can't believe like they got the character buffed for email. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Uh, that's have you the got first any, I've heard of that, I think. Have, have you got any plans for like offline uh, tournaments? Uh, if Red Bull opens up again officially, I know it's once every month now, but if it was, I had plans for a lot of tournaments before the mod, hmm. uh, before COVID. So I thought oh, I could do a weekly, which was London Brawlers. Yep. If, if COVID never happened, that would have led up to the mod up to now. So it depends on Red Bull. For London, because that's the everyone can get to Red Bull easier. If it isn't like, and um, what's the other place called? Um, the warehouse. Oh, uh, I been Ed, Ed Fx. Yeah, if it was there, not many people want to go because oh, it's too far, not next to the station, not convenient for many people. It's North London, not central. Mm. It's like I'm not going to do it there. I'd rather do it somewhere everyone can get to easy. Train stations right opposite the, the place venue. It depends on Red Bull, I think. If there's other, other venues that's in central that's open for me to do it, then I'll do it there as well. But I think everyone's familiar with Red Bull. I'll most likely do it there if it opens up weekly again. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, do you think there's any advice that you would give to people considering modding or already have the tech to mod? Do you think there's like any motivational uh, phrases you can keep them or you could give to them to keep them going? Because I'm, I'm sure there's points when you're doing it, you're like, I just can't be asked, man. Like, fuck these guys. Fuck this community. <laughs> fuck this character. <laughs> Uh, is there anything like any mantras that you had in those moments that you could pass on to anyone else who's thinking about doing mods uh, on this scale, not just like aesthetically modded? Uh, stuff? Yeah, uh, I say to have your intentions to be good when you're modding. It. Don't make it just for you. If you're doing it just for yourself, don't you shouldn't care about anyone else thinks because you're doing it just for yourself. But if you're doing it for a whole community, you shouldn't like be selfish and be like, oh, I'm only going to do what I want. You got to like open up to a lot of people you obviously can reject a lot of people as well but try to be open to a lot of people and a lot of people motivate you as well a lot of people will be like oh that's interesting a lot of people will say like to me that oh i don't think it's possible i don't think you can do this kind of thing like oh that that will never happen you'll never mod this a lot of people say that but if you know you've got the skills to do it and you have the motivation then you can get to the end and go and the end goes a good feeling like you see everyone playing it when you see everyone playing the mod and giving good feedback it's like you just can't help but smile <laughs> <laughs> you can't help but smile. You just smell like yesterday. I was on my phone. So I uploaded Vegeta. I'm like, okay, he's up there. So like yeah. 20 likes straight. I'm thinking, what about whoa? I didn't just turn off my phone for like a second and saw 20 likes. It's put a smile on my face. And I was like, oh, it's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. yeah now, the... if you see that like, occasional like hit like bad comments saying, oh, why would you bring another Vegeta to the game? I'm like, oh, I don't care about you, mate. You are you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you know me. I like like I love that toxic stuff. The is I'm. I don't know how they could aim any toxicity at you other than something minor like oh you, there's another saying in the game Do, has there any have there been any comments like oh you're wasting your time why are you doing this from you know people that you don't know yeah actually um plays for uh, i can't remember his name it was, it was a qualified player from hayat took his place uh he was he qualified um uchiha and metplex yeah, I think it was Uchi, uh, Uchiha, yeah. Right, right, right. I think he, because he, he likes the meta of the game right now. He likes Labco and Diffusions. So when I made mm. when I made the mod, I buffed everyone and kind of toned them down a little bit. They still got buffed, but I toned them down a little bit. He's like, oh, why would anyone, he said, oh, why would anyone play? I can't remember what the tweet was. Uh, why would anyone play this? You know, the, the base game is way better kind of thing. And I'm thinking, damn, if you think the base game is way better than, you know, you do you. you know, I'm not forcing you to play the mods. Like, right. no, one's, no one's taking your keyboard and writing Ultimate Dragon Ball <laughs> mods and done it for you, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, things like fun are subjective. 
um, yeah. how would you how do you value saying your mod is better is it in terms of balance or in terms of fun compared to the base game compared to base game i would say um maybe both i would say because in base game there's, there's a clear definition of what is good and what is bad mm. you know what is very broken in base game you know it's like you'll never pick freezer because he's just a bad character like you can pick him and still win with him mm. but there's no point picking him because you can just pick lab coat and just do the same thing but better yeah. when the mod is you know characters are very strong you don't you won't have that decision to make thinking oh lab coat is better freezer i'll pick freezer or i'll, I'll pick lab coat you, you can think of oh if i pick freezer that means i can kind of pick all these other characters but if i pick lab coat i can kind of pick all these other characters on this team it can, kind of makes you think more about your team composition think oh if someone picks against cooler I can't pick again. I can't pick Zonus because Cooler counts as Zonus. Mm. It makes you really like. I think it's balanced in that terms of you can pick what you like and have a good time still. So you still have fun and not feel overwhelmed by other characters. Unless you pick a team that completely gets counter picked by, like, let's say you pick three Zonus versus one Cooler and you just lose, then you'll be like, well, that's your fault for picking three Zonus. <laughs> right. So your, your game's based more about countering rather than just objectively this character is just better. Yeah, I right. think so, yeah, 100%, 100%. So no characters actually, if I make a tier list, I can't put a character at number one. It's too hard because every time I put someone at the top level, I'm like, but well, this character just obliterates this other character here. So does that mean this character is better than that one? Well, if you got this character, it's that character and, and so on, this matchup knowledge at that point. So you... It could have come down to skill, but it's like, this character has, this, their moveset is designed to beat that moveset. Do you think that's a better way of balancing? Like personally, do you I think, think the countering? I think so. Yeah. Because then, you, then you got you can pick any character. You don't have you're not forced to pick one character. Like right now, everyone's mm. basically forced to pick a fusion or lab coat or you know Denember Hitch or mm. other other top tier. Character. You'll never pick a low tier character into a top tier team because they do nothing against a top tier team. Whereas if all the tiers are the same, but they all have different counter picks, you think, oh, I can make this, this character against that character, then there's no real top tier. No real number one right. spot. Uh, I'll have to think about that one. I actually don't know if I agree. I've never thought about the countering technique in a team game. Uh, I, we've seen it. Well, I say we've seen it. I'm sure people have seen it. Like, you know, in NRS. Like, yeah. in tournament, <laughs> that game is... I don't think... I'm trying, like, it doesn't happen too often. But NRS games, blind pick is really important. Because... Yeah. A lot, of the top, so yeah. a lot of players play multiple characters and they know matchups and they're like, this might be my main, but I'm not picking it. I'm not picking yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so like blind picks are so important in that game. Even though you can blind pick technically in any game, every game you could request a, t uh, uh, a blind pick, but it only yeah. really happens in NRS games. Uh, so, but that's a 1v1. When it comes to like team base, I feel they'd have to do like a pick and bands. Uh, yeah. Which I'm not. I'm not opposed to that. I'm definitely not opposed to like picking in bands. I I just don't know if that. I feel it just morphs the issue, like having counters instead of objectively like this is just a bad character. Because when I looked at Lab Coat, I was like, oh, Lab Coat's actually pretty healthy. I think I kind of still stand by that. I think Lab Coat being the strongest unequivocally is good because instead of having the two fusions being the best you're limited to one slot of a character that you can pick if yeah. lab coat is just the best character she's better than both the fusions at least then you can pick lab coat and two other characters and it, it sounds like you pick two fusions and lab coat <laughs> this is this is what <laughs> that's the problem <laughs> th that is the problem i think but that's choice yeah. because if people yeah. are saying lab coat is just the best it's like well if lab coat is the best she can beat both the fusions so then you can just pick yeah. krill and rocks or whatever like you just that's, you that's, true, that's true. Rock. that was my but everyone when i said it everyone was like what you said like oh you just picked the two fusions and i'm like yeah but then then what you're doing by saying that is you're you're downplaying lab coat strength because then if you have lav coat to beat the fusions you also don't need to pick the fusions right? uh, i think the way i see it is lav the fusions are the backup to lav coat so if lav coat if lav coat somehow goes yeah we got the next best best thing on the line which is the fusions whereas yeah. lav coat would still be the fusions but you're using lav coat to fight against lav coat you're not using the you're using the fusion as backup in case your lav right. coat goes because there's no other lav coat in the game 
I mean, that's at, that point, is, at that point, it's a skill issue, isn't it? If if my lab coat lost to your lab coat, <laughs> it doesn't matter about tier list. I'm just not good enough. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> a skill issue. Uh, but yeah, no, I do. I do think the countering aspect of a team game would be super interesting. Uh, in terms of balancing, I don't know which one's better or worse. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I've seen people. I guess maybe Shanks when he started picking Janimba. When he picked Janimba point, I think that was a good like Ooh, a good way of seeing. Oh, Zane, Zane picking Zamasu against um, Vegeta, for example, because you can't catch him in the air. Yeah, sorry, that that's a better example. When I said Janimba, I definitely meant Cooler in my head. When, well, yeah. <laughs> remember when Shanks was playing Cooler to to battle against the fusions and lab coats, and he was doing all right for a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then. Yeah, the... it just didn't, yeah but Kula wasn't strong enough to deal with. The, it was too much overload for Kula. You couldn't handle it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I feel if there was, I, I know I wouldn't be good at counter, like like kind of counter culture. I guess it's yeah, the counter, not cancel counter culture, yeah. because I really don't like playing characters that I don't need to or I don't like. Uh, all the characters bar Krillin, Krillin, I kind of got bullied into playing. Because it was just like, people saying he's bad. I'm like, he can't be bad. Like, if you look at his toolkit, he's not bad. He's, yeah. He's not bad. You can't say he's bad. It's like, you're, even though it's all subjective, you're just wrong. Like, if you think the character's bad because he's got a stubby 2H, you're just wrong. Like, that's why I picked the character. Uh, it, it was pettiness. Pure pettiness. And I loved every <laughs> minute of it. I loved every minute of it. Uh, but all the other characters I picked because I liked all the characters from the Saiyan, uh, not Saiyan Saga, sorry, the Android Saga, I liked. Like SSJ for GR, yeah. 18, 17. I love that. I would play that team if I could. That team is yeah. ultra doo doo. Like that team is so bad. Uh, the only good thing about that is the TODs with 17 are easy. Oh, 17, yeah. yeah. Five, the five bar building is cute. <laughs> yeah, you get the five bars, you get easy ways to get the TOD because you've got your barrier and when they try to punish your barrier you call 18 barrier then you fire them and, yeah. and they're instantly dead <laughs> like that's cool that is cool but other than, that, so too. other than that it's uh it's a long day it's a long long day um uh, yeah i don't know yeah. I, I think pretty much got a good idea of like your perspective on on how to make the mod i'm definitely going to think about the aspect of a team oh, game having nice. counters because uh, I, I never really thought about it. Now that you said it, like that was kind of your yeah. idea. That's uh, really interesting. I I think it works a lot having mm. counters because you can pick, you can, like you say, you prefer, you like having Vegeta on the team. So you, you'll find two functions. The two functions could be, okay, if, if my Vegeta zoning die, mm. I got a rush down character as the back, which helps Vegeta. And I got a set play character, which also helps Vegeta. Mm. Rather than having, oh, let me have free zoners just because I like, you can pick free zoners. I think they'll still do well. But the opponent will have to completely change who they pick. And oh, I gotta pick three characters now. To, like you make the opponent. I feel like I, don't know, I feel like it's kind of toxic, but I quite like that toxicity when you, you force the opponent to be like, oh, I gotta pick three counter zoners or kind of like. This this is what I mean. It feels like those two solutions end up at the same point where it's you can't pick X character. <laughs> the X yeah. character that you can't pick is gonna be different. Like obviously with the base game, it's gonna be you can't not pick. Lab Cock Fusions. In your one, it's like if SJ for G is my favorite character, but someone's playing the counter to SJ for Gia, I can't pick SJ for Gia. So it is like the same problem with a different uh character. Like you can't pick X or you're forced to pick X. I, I yeah. don't know. I don't think there is like a there's not I don't think there's a happy middle ground when it comes to balancing, especially in team games. Like, yeah, I don't think so too. Cause it's always gonna be something like, it's always gonna be one or the other. And because you've got assist as well, it completely changes how you approach mm -hmm. as well with assist. If there's no assist in the game, then I think I don't know how it would be if there was no assist in the game. If, if you had a team game with no assist, that was a King of Fighters where you can just swap characters in and yeah. out. Yeah, but yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Is there any assist in King of I don't think there's any uh, mm, thirteen. Since thirteen, no. It's always like this yeah. is the character you use in like they're kind of like characters per round, kind yeah. of like this is uh, Yori's round one. Then you've got Shermi round two, and then Clark round three. That's kind of how it works. It's not like, oh, I'm going to bring in Iori to do Scum Gale while I've got Shermi yeah. on point and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sure there was one where you could sort of tag, but it's an old, old one. Uh, oh, okay. if ten, ten, if you're there, you can put it in the comments. Uh, 
but I know there was like a different style of KOF back in the day. Uh, <clears throat> I, th I think in that style, then that's where the counter option will be too strong. Because with an assist, you can also kind of anti counter. Let's say you, f you fight against someone that counters Vegeta, mm -hmm. you got an assist that helps that helps you beat the counter to Vegeta. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. example, can you uh can you mod uh modes? Do you? Uh, I've never thought. I don't know how to do it, but it is possible. Someone's mod like a whole like arcade challenger mode where they fight against right. boss battles and other things in the game. So I know it's definitely possible. Because I was thinking, I just don't know how to do it. I was thinking a KOF mode for Dragon Ball would be pretty interesting. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people have spent that, oh, 1v1, I'll smoke you. Like, my neutral is godlike. <laughs> I don't need for Geo, A assist, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, Easy Bat might be the best player on the planet if that mode comes out. I'll tell you that much. Like, yeah. If you haven't yeah. got assists, but you have like your three characters and you play them in a specific order, I think that could be a really sick mode. Obviously, you have to like share Spark or whatever like that. Uh, yeah. Maybe carry over Mita. Anchor, anchor, add, anchor, could add be. on Gohan would be pretty lit. Like if that it would was the be mode. pretty. Uh, yeah, you just hold seven bars until you get yeah. to Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty sick, and it gives the game like a completely new dynamic. I mean. Even if they put that in the base game, actually, I don't know. If they put that in the base game, I don't. I think the tier list might change. I think Labco is still yeah. at the top, but I think the fusions wouldn't be at the top. I don't know. I don't think so either because they have no like Gogeta. Def, Gogeta Blue would definitely not be in the top because yeah. he has nothing to back him up. Gogeta yeah. Red might shoot up higher. Don't know about yeah, Gogeta. that's true. Yeah, there's no Gogeta for... this one. He, yeah, he yeah, would. He would go up there. He would shoot right top. Yeah. I bet a lot of cats on the bottom of the table go up for sure in a one v one. The assist really changed. The team game, I think, the assist. Mm -hmm. Some characters have bad assist and just a bad character in general and they just can't do much. We're going to see this though, pick them anyway. Yeah. But yeah. no assist, you're just all about your buttons. Like, Cooler will go up there, Cooler. Because you can't throw any key blasts against him and you have no assist to stop him. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would be an can't interesting yeah. way to play a game. I just didn't know if you could mod modes. Because there's no... There is a 1v1 mode, possible. right? Yeah. There is a 1v1 mode. I just didn't know if you could mod it to go like after the first game, pre-selected characters now show up and then pre-selected characters after that show up. Uh, but they've got, there is uh, a cheap way of doing it as well. You can do a cheap way of just remove the buttons <laughs> for assist. True. Turn to remove the assist buttons and that way they're forced to play the point war. And raw tag. Yeah, and raw tag, yeah. Disable raw tag and uh, yeah. Z they change. can't do forward tag nothing, yep. That, According to the force to play, they could do it if they did the buttons. I think that's possible by the mod. That would be pretty cool to see it that way. Yeah, I think that would be kind of hype. <laughs> yeah, there's a that would bring out the egos in people because it would expose people. Think, it? it would expose people. I think Blue Q would be up there. Blue Q would be top oh, three yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. This, you know this. <laughs> smell my fingers. Like Twenty four. <laughs> oh my god! By far one of the best characters if that if that's ever remote. But it's, it would be cool because then. You, you kind of add another layer to not just the meta, but the game. Like being, yeah. oh, I'm good at this game in this mode. Like, I think you would have different top players in that mode. For sure. I think so. Because it's about fundamentals more than anything mm -hmm. in that mode. Uh, the game's going to be a lot slower because there's not assists. Uh, it'll be a lot easier visually for like a lot of the FTSE 1v1 people. When there's no assists, I think super dashes are going to be way weaker because yeah. <laughs> you're not looking at like all points of the screen at one point uh, at one time. Uh, yeah, that would be sick. I know when I did like the Dragon Ball League thing, uh, I remember that. that we, was sick. we tried the three v three, like three players on one team, three players on the other team. Oh, the the, the party mode thing. Party the mode. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's actually called party mode. Funnily enough. Um, <laughs> Which I think on paper is such a sick concept, but it's on delay base. It they played yeah, it. Shout out to all the people that played it, bro. I think Kaiden, Yasha, Cyan, Noka, Miami, might be Obi. Oh my god! Yeah, the vods are still up there, and I say shout out to them a lot because the delay base one v one is bad enough. They played free v free, like <laughs> the bro, the. <laughs> The net code was in shambles that day. Absolute shambles. Um, With Miami in there as well? Oh, yeah, that wasn't yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely tears behind those control pads, bro. Someone was mad upset. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, modes like that could definitely open. I think you could say that to like any team game. Once yeah. you limit what you can do, it gives it another spin. It's not like neutering or nerfing the game. You're just saying, Oh, well, this mode, we focus more on footsies, neutral, whatever. 
uh, and this mode's more like what how can you break the game that's how i've always seen team-based games is how much can you push this to the limit like how yeah. much of the rules can you break like that's all people try to do like uh, even making a 50 50 you're making the game unfair for your opponent you're, you're trying to break the rules <laughs> Uh, true. Snap, yeah. Snap was breaking the rules. I'm, yeah, that I was. Will, <laughs> I will put money that the devs never wanted the game to look like that. A hundred percent. That's why they nerfed, they put a tutorial on how not to get fuzzied. Exactly. After they took away Snap, but the tutorial was not needed for any new players. They said, yeah, like it made yeah. no difference. And then the tutorial saying you can't get fuzzed. They could literally wrote it on paper. They put a whole tutorial in the game as a game mode to say, oh, just crouch, you won't get fuzzied. <laughs> didn't want it man they didn't want the smoke they didn't want their game to be done like that but as players we don't care we we, we yeah we find the we find what we can abuse we are to win. balance but all we want to do is be unfair like yeah it's the <laughs> it's the vicious cycle I, I all i want is my character to be fun i've had that in every game uh whether my character was strong or not every time my character has been strong they've got nerfed Just rest yeah. in peace nash they nerfed him because oh, of the dash. Man, I, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah, I know there was like two or three of them in the top eight of the first Evo. It's like, just wait for players to get good. You literally sell yeah. them the Nash, bro. Like, but they get scared and they get scared. People complain. They think people leave the game. They'll get, they get, devs get scared. And now look what's happened to them. That's They're it. getting fucking half hour uh, Manat combos. They're getting, <laughs> <laughs> they're getting lamed at by Dow Sim. And what did Nash do? What was his crime? Oh, his dash was unreactable. So you got a throw. Oh, nah, they should have left it in, man. Do you remember Chun-Li in season one? Yep. <laughs> that was crazy. I remember all the DLC were crazy when they dropped, yep. when Borok first came you, out. You, when Yuri and I played Yuri, and I remember the nerf that I stopped playing Street Fighter. Like, there's no Seth, but I'm not playing this game anymore. Bison was not the same for me as all the other Street Fighters. Yeah, nah, he's not even close. Bison was, he's not even nothing to say. I thought Yuri was like, what felt like it mean the most. Like, you, you, I don't play to beat someone in the game. I play to destroy them mentally. Like, <laughs> I respect it. It's not about me winning, it's about you having at the, the least amount time. of fun yes, yes. I'm, I'm always there on the side i know you see me i'm always there smiling yeah, like yeah. snickering was, even if i lose i'm there snickering look at you i did that to you i yeah. was in london brawlers was like before covid i broke, it was against rocket in winners finals he did five funds to me sell. i blocked them all I tell him i'm not gonna block low because i know you want to fuzzy <laughs> I was getting so pissed off. I remember the last time you did, you had to bait me standing up to DR and I killed him with a perfect attack. He's an emotional like, player as well, bro. I knew I got in his head. I was like, yeah, I got in your head. I've won. I don't care if I lose. I've won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Raw, Raw Kid is mad emotional. Mad emotional. Like, yeah. in terms of like, the options you pick can do more damage than you hitting him in game. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. if you do something wild, even if it works, you'd be like, why have you, did you do? I'm like that as well. Like, <laughs> if I if I do like a flash kick and they bait and I'm like, but you've not baited anything for the past five years. Why why now? That wasn't you're weird, bro. Like you you random random. You actually cosmically random, bro. You don't make sense. Or you did it by accident, <laughs> stuff like that. I, I get real tight yeah. of like stuff like that. So uh yeah, I know Rock is the same. Uh but yeah, yeah I mean I, I, I do do the same thing uh, as you do to players. I, I care about mentally I mean, I guess my goal, when I was competing, my goal was that I want you to, it doesn't matter about win or lose. I just want you to like finish this match, step up from the station and go, <laughs> I'm never playing this game again. I, I want you to hate the game. I just want you to hate the game. I don't want to ever see you come back. That would be my goal. Um, I, I know that, yeah, I, that's, that is, that's what I try for. <laughs> yeah, and I, I realized Freak that. Away, I, I realized that and I stopped playing and started commentating because I was like, I'm going to kill the scene. If I had my way, if I had my way, I would kill every player <laughs> from wanting to, to get good at games. So I was like, you know what? Let me not be a harm to the community. Let me just talk crap on the mic and uh, see how well I can do with that. But, um, no, that's what I like. But I think I've, everyone, I remember from what season, early season three, Sehan was always known as first that will block anything, right? Mm -hmm. People do mix up and it, it'll like tackle DRs. I remember there was an RMZ stream. We had like seven people in his in his um ring ring room. I was playing Jiren against Sehan. But all I did, I didn't do any strings. I just did five L twenty times, and I saw Sehan mash for the first time. <laughs> he started doing EX Wolf Fang Fist three times because it's just I'm not doing anything else. There's no reaction. I'm just doing one button twenty times. <laughs> that will clearly get in someone's head. There's yeah. No like high low DRs. 
He's like, he's waiting for all of those options. I'm like, no, I'm going to keep pressing 505, 505, until it breaks you, thinking I'm tired of blocking this same button over and over. Like it, it still works today against players. It still works. It works against Goichi or against anyone. People will get frustrated with this one button. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Goichi uh, lost to Fenrich every now and again. And all he, yeah. Yeah, he played as, when he played as a J for Gita. Yeah, yeah. It was 5 and 4 or 4 or 4. 4 or 4. <laughs> so I, saw, I, saw, I saw him do it. I think he did it with Selwyn World Tour Season 2. He did a 6M and Goichi sparked. I'm like, oh, pff, why did he spot? It was, a, yeah, it was, it was, it was like, I'm not blocking the 6M. I'm tired of this 5 or 6 or 5 or 6. Yeah. It's, it's not a question of can you block it. It's like, will you will you want to? And the yeah. answer is normally no. No, I will not, sir. I opt out. Yeah. I opt out. That's sick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, man. I don't know if there's anything you wanted to throw in there uh, before we wrap up. If you want to ask me a question, chuck any info out there. Obviously, down below, I'll get the link to the mod. So if anyone wants to play that, they can uh, check that out. I'll probably add like the trailer as well down there for SJ for GR. Vegito, sorry. Uh, but yeah, anything else you want to add, dude? Uh, no, there'll be more characters to the one. That's what you guys need to know. So not, Vegito's not the last character. There'll be more seasons as well. So a little like tease for the next season. I've mentioned that with people. I might be changing like... You, you mentioned it earlier in, in the stream. Um, changing health values depending on body size and movement speed. Okay. So if the character's bigger, the health of you will have more health. But it won't be as fast as other characters. That would be sick. That would be sick. Yes, it, it definitely falls more in line, not just like uh, with like real law physics, like Broly should be a little bit slower than someone like yeah. Gohan or something <laughs> like that. Uh, but it falls more in line with like fighting games, I guess. Yeah. To a degree. I think Dragon was the only fighting game, only team game where everyone had the same health, right? I don't know any other fight team game where they all have the same health. Off the top of my head, no. Like Marvel, all the Capcom games, they always do different health values. Other, health, other, Capcom, yeah. uh, other team games that aren't Capcom. Score girls, they don't, they don't have all the same health values, do they? Score girls. I should definitely know this, and I don't. I want to say they don't, but they have different mobility. They have way yeah. different mobility. Yeah, some characters don't have like an air dash. So, uh, so yeah, it's one of the two. Normally, it's either health or mobility. Normally, yeah. and that Dragon Ball has. It's, it's weird for Dragon Ball to have. Like everyone, the same movement, same, same damage and buttons, which is for me that like same frame data, almost the same frame data for yeah. every normal. For me, that's like the yeah. weirdest. Like it's such a different way to do a fighting game, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Yeah, that that would be cool if you did that. I think uh, my my favorite thing on the mod is the passives. The passives are just oh, yeah. godlike. Yeah, I love that concept. <laughs> I love that concept. It makes sense. Like it makes sense in terms. I, I wish more games did stuff like passives. Yeah. The closest is like perks in multiverses or gems, I guess, in Cross Tekken, uh, where you can give. I remember eight. gems. Yeah, I, I think that's like the closest thing to a passive in a fighting game. I, damn, I know there I are games with passives, but the the way that you did it, like aliens have a certain passive and Saiyans have a certain passive, yeah. and Earthlings, yeah, I like that. I don't think it's been done, but they have got like, oh, this character builds more meter. Oh yeah, these uh, you got you got character specific, but never yeah. like a whole cast of characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't base the passive off of like a race, like of characters. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be for other games. They should do it. Like imagine they did it for like Marvel's Capcom, like three. That would be mad. Like, would all be the best. X, all the everyone in the like X Men will like have a different passive. So I don't know, like yeah, all the Street Fighter characters have a different passive. You know, that would be that would be yeah, that would be sick. But uh, yeah, man, thanks to. Shuredu for jumping on, super interesting. Hearing the mind of a modder, what it takes to do that, uh, the feedback, interacting with people, oh, cringe, couldn't do, couldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like I said, all the stuff will be down in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.